you know what's super scary is getting fired. I've gotten fired a good bit. In fact, we've all gotten fired a good bit. Anybody who tells you that they work in this industry and that they don't get fired is either lying or they're not trying hard enough. Going outside the box and, and putting in the extra effort every once in a while, you zig when somebody wants you to zag and they decide that they're going to go with someone else and that's disheartening and it really hurts. But it also has taught me over the years to keep doing the thing that feels right to me because that's why people come to me in the first place. And if it doesn't work for somebody and I get fired, so be it. We actually made a record on this band called Little Big Town and they were huge. The record that we made exploded. It had huge singles on it and it was like the best thing ever and everybody loved it. And it was this new sound and et cetera, et cetera. And um, I got fired on the next record twice. Uh, I got fired from tracking because they didn't need me and I got fired from mixing because they decided they didn't like it. So we did this record for this band that was literally the biggest record of their career. And then the next time around, they, they fired me. Two or three days after they fired me, I got a phone call and it was Kenny Chesney. And he said, hey man, I got referred to you by Eric Church and I'd like for you to mix my record. And if I hadn't gotten fired on Little Big Town, I wouldn't have had time to mix Kenny's record. And now we've done 10 years of work together.